morning everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today it's after the storm. So last night we had quite a big storm for England. So it was quite windy. So <laughs> we've got some storm damage stuff to repair today. So I've got to go out the back, I've got to pick up a load of rubbish where the bins have sprayed everywhere. Uh, the gates have been slightly broken so I've got to fix them. Um, I don't think it's too bad to be honest. Um, but I do think some of the boxes of the polystyrene in has blown away. So I will have to, we'll have to go on a little look around just to make sure it doesn't spread across the street. Um, I found two pieces outside this morning that I've picked up already. Um, so we have to go over I think I might do that first, have a quick run around, see if we can find any polystyrene that's been blown around. Then we can go around, fix all the stuff that's been broken and stuff like that during the storm and then we can crack on with the rest of the day. Please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that lovely bell for me if you haven't already and I shall crack on with the day. Come on then, let's go on a polystyrene hunt. So there's loads of ice everywhere because it had a massive big hailstorm. So, big grass hitter. Straight away, polystyrene, straight away. Over there, polystyrene. So we picked that up. Yeah, I think this is most of it, there's five or six pieces. Oh, I think we found it. I think we found where it landed. Mine? Mine. Oh. Let's pick up all it all in up. Oh, a little bit. And a little bit. And we should be able to go straight through the back because the gate's open, I believe. Nothing else around here. No more polystyrene than that's mine. So I'm happy we're doing a good job. Uh, the gate's open, look, see. And the bins are everywhere. There's fence panels down. There's a fence panel up the top, which is down as well. Okay. So, luckily, a lot of it's all still contained, so we did quite well there. But uh, all the boxes have been ruined in the rain. Oh. Tidy up, tidy up. I ain't got time to do the fence panel, but uh, we shall do the gate. Oh, the bins have been flown around everywhere. Come on, there we go. I'll chuck all that in there in a bit. I think the gate's just the lock's been wiggled loose, I believe. Oh, it's dropped. The gate's dropped by look of, oh my God. Oh my God, it's broke. It snapped the whole post. Oh my God. Yeah, so the uh, that's dropped like loads. Um, well, so we've got to, if I put it like that, get this piece of wood. Ooh. That's gonna hold it closed anyway. But yeah, you can see it's dropped. That, that's, the wind has snapped that concrete post. Oh, I just spoke to the lady over there and she said there's trees down and everything. Well, I think our patrol went well. We've got our iced tea to top us up. So we can't be dehydrated, so. So yeah, that's all the wind damage. Well, I've still got to find a way of locking that gate somehow. Uh, but yeah. I was surprised it broke that concrete post. That's ridiculous. So, uh, well, if it's blown down trees and that fence was going like that, I'm not surprised it's broke the panel. Um, but yeah, so storm damage for today. Apparently, uh, everywhere else in England it's snowing, but here it's not snowing. So, about 30 minutes away, there's about that much snow. So, I don't want any snow really, but. I think it's probably tomorrow we're going to get snow. Look, there's evidence of snow on Narinda's car from Birmingham. No, 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 no. Snow on his bonnet and snow on the ground. Proof it's snowing somewhere in England. Proof. What lovely jobs have I got for you today? We've got to do all of the filters. We've also got to do some stuff with the animals. And we've got to do a little bit of handling, a little bit of feeding. Um, I do need to look at the back room though, because we've had the storm, it's blooming freezing in here, the wind's whipping through this door. So 
I'm going to have to think of some way of blocking all the the air is coming through. We're going to go through. I think I'm going to use the carpet. I've got loads of that carpet, so we can cut it into nice strips, put it where the door meets everything, and that should seal the door in and stop having any drafts. And I think then that would heat this room up because the, the the lights and everything is struggling to keep the animals warm because of this draft coming in into here. So that's going to be a very very important job today. So. I'm gonna try, I might jump onto that first, to be fair. Um, I'll see what I think. So I've cleared some stuff out of the way so we can actually get to the door. Recycling days, not for a couple of days yet, and we've still got loads of boxes. Um, so I'll show you the main problems. They can see daylight. There's a draft coming out of there. See what I mean? It's, it's no good, Alan, no good. Same down the bottom, same down the bottom. There's loads of wiggle rooms. So we want to put some carpet down there, and then we'll tart like this, and then that then is going to block it up and stop any drafts. That's the plan. We can see it. It's blooming, blowing all the stuff. Look at it. You think you can see it blowing it all? All the wind coming in. So that's going to be main job for today, Once, uh, and then we can do the filters. So I'm going to have to open this. We'll measure this, cut it, uh, and then work out how we're going to attach it. Um, really, the best way would be masonry drill bits and drill it, but we might just glue it. Might be quicker. The problem is I don't want to open the door to do the job because it's too blooming cold. <laughs> so I've worked out how we can do the top piece. The top piece is, is uh, we can use what we've got there to just nail in the piece of wood, the piece of... Um, carpet we need so I'm just looking for tools now and looking for them in the nails uh, one pin stick we have officially got the one pin stick but for one pin you want stuff into stuff so it's a one pin stick uh, I did have some little pins remember I told you I had some square pins nails Hmm. We have to search for him. We have to search. Found him. Lovely, lovely nails. So now all we need to do is find a way of cutting the carpet. Um, we can't use our big circular saw because it's rubber and plastic, and it's just going to damage the blade. We could try maybe hand saw or maybe using oh the Stanley blade. So that's what we're gonna have to do. Ready. Very windy, so we've got to be careful because the door doesn't want to stay open very much. So, oh, you see we've got a nice little lip there. That's what we've got to put some carpet on. I might put some up there, but I don't think so. I think we'll just put it there. And we've got to do this bottom. That's gonna be the hardest bit because that's concrete. So that's gonna be the hardest bit to do. So, I'm gonna measure this now. We'll cut some strips, and then we can pin them all up. Got the tape measure, I mean, wind, stop it. Wind. Ah! Ripping the door open. So it is... 15 mil, 15 mil. Okay, shut the flipping. That was how Donald Duck says it's windy, if you didn't realise. I was bilingual. <laughs> I can't shut it. There we go. The door broke then. Oh, 15 mil. Come on then. Oh, let's cut some 15 mil strips off. This is just as hard as what I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to set you up. So I've marked out. I'm cutting it a little bit bigger. I'm cutting it uh, 20 mil instead of 15 mil, which is two centimeters. Um, so I'm using the blade. It's going to do me the cleanest cut. Uh -huh, you're on the stand. But it's the biggest chance of me cutting my finger off, I believe. Because it's so stiff. Whoa. So I'm doing really, really steady. Because I don't want to lose a finger. So I have to wiggle it out. Then we have to push it down. 
wiggle it right push it down and I can't I can't really do a sawing it's just too stiff so I don't want to cut myself but it's doing a nice clean cut so it's going to take me ages and ages to cut it but I can't see any other way of doing it it's like opening a can opener the old fashioned way it takes you ages but then baked beans taste nicer <laughs> come on I wonder if I've got a sharper blade the other way around. No, it looks just as blunt. Nope, nope, nope. So what else? I did that. I did it off camera. So. Yeah, blade's just as crap. See, I've got ages, ages to go yet. I'm nowhere near the line. I think that's the least of my worries at the moment. Least of my worries. Come on, we can do it. Almost, I reckon that's halfway. Oh, look at that. I'm just going to do a time lapse because this is boring. So there we go. One strip. Done. We put it up, measure how many more strips we've got to do, and go from there. I'm just going to go for it, put it up, and hammer it up, and get it in place, and then see how much more we've got to cut. So flat. We've got a nice little strip. It's going to fill up our ga gap. Perfectly, it's going to fill up that gap. So I'm really happy about that. I don't think. Really, we could probably get away with not doing that side. This is the main problem in the bottom. So, uh, <laughs> I'm actually struggling for a place for you to go because the wind's blowing everything that bad out there. I can't put you out there. It's just gonna blow the phone over. So, I've got my pins, I've got the one pin stick, and I've got my piece of carpet. So hopefully you stay where you are and you don't get blown around too much. It's that windy still. You see? Can we okay? Okay. So we put this up here. And we shut the door, it's gonna shut still. Go ahead and stay up there. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So let's pin it in place. Okay. One more. Whoa. Windy. It's windy. Let's shut the door and see if it works. What's stopping us here? I think when that door swung open, it's damaged the hinges a little bit, but that's so much better. I've got a little strip to do there. Oh, that's not too bad. We can do that. This side fits quite good. I'm happy about that. 
Have a look at the bottom there. Mm -hmm. The bottom one could be the easiest one because we could be lazy and we could just get one of those. Um, it's like a draft excluder, that's the word. So it goes at the bottom of doors. So I could get one of them and put that down there because drilling into that concrete and trying to pin this to that concrete is just going to be a world of problems. And uh, it is too cold to be drilling and stuff like that today. Having that door open for too long, it's just cooling the animals down in that back area and I can't have that. So that amount of time I had the door open, that's like the most I can have the door open because it just zaps all the heat from all the tanks, especially with the mesh ones with the chameleons. It just takes all the heat away. So uh, even if I was going to do bigger, more jobs out there, I'd have to give it time, let the room warm back up, then do it again. So uh, I'll do that little strip, I'll add that to it, and then um, I think I'll get a draft excluder for the bottom, and then I'll see how many of these filters I can get done for the rest of today. I'll tell you what, I've just done that last little bit. It was 13 centimeters. We've just put it in there now. That is so much better. I mean, there's the tiniest, tiniest little breeze coming through, but it's 10 times better than what it was. You can't even hear it now. You used to be able to hear the outside and you can't hear anything. So, <clears throat> so I'm very happy with that. That's done really well. Let's crack on with our next project. I've completely forgot. I've got half a day today. It's my little cousin's birthday. Happy birthday, Cameron. I believe he's 21. I might be wrong, but we're all going up to celebrate his birthday. So, being with one of his older cousins, we can't let him down, so I'm gonna have to close the shop early. I know, I know, I know, but you know, I have got a life away from the shop. I'm here seven days a week for you. You can give me a couple of hours. Come on, come on. You have seven days a week. You can give me a couple of hours. So uh, I'm gonna be shutting the shop a little bit early today. Um, and then we're gonna be go. I'm, I'm gonna be coming back to do all the jobs anyway. So I've still gotta come back. It's probably gonna be like 10 and 11 o'clock and we'll be in here doing the axolotls a little bit. Wee. So uh, I've still gotta, I can't not do some of the jobs. So filters are gonna have to go on hold for now. I've gotta get all the night jobs done. Um, ready, so I've gotta feed everybody check everybody's waters and do all the rounds before I go. And then um, tomorrow I'll probably do an Alex reviews for you. So uh, I'll see if I can film what I'm doing for the end of it. But I completely forgot that I've got to go at like half three today. We've got two and a half hours before I've got to get changed. No, one and a half hours before I, can, I have to get changed and uh, go to the train station. So I've got to be feed the bearded dragon um, we've got to feed the little leopard gecko, we've got to get the blazing blizzard, we've got to get one of the other leopard geckos down and feed him, um, so we'll do that, then I think that's most of the jobs done that I was going to do before we finished, I've got to turn all the lights off, check the drippers uh, for the chameleons and then that's it then, so then we can finish. Come on then little buddy, where am you? We've got locusts. Secret blend, blend of herbs and spices. No. It must be in there. Mr. Gecko. No. Aha, there he is. He's as flat as a pancake. Would you like a locust, sir? Oh, yes, we do. Oh, oh nice breakfast locust. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. The jungle leopard gecko. Doing really well. Thank you, buddy. Eat that one, I've got another one. It's got some lovely markings. Come on, buddy, look, I've got another one. Cooey. Come on, little dude. Come on, put it in there for him, let him have a hunt. Oh, there we go. 
Come on, buddy. We'll, we'll put some in there for you to hunt. We can have a little hunt. Is he going to shoot it? No, I don't think he's going to shoot out and grab them, but we'll put three in there for him to... Oh, no, they're all jumping out now. There we go. Four or do. That's plenty. Is he going to have it? No. Well, Blazing Blizzard lives in the tree. She thinks she's an arboreal gecko. She's not, she's meant to be on the ground, but she doesn't listen to anybody. She's like, no, if I want to be up here, I'm going to be up here. So, yeah, she's up in the tree. Oh, no, gorgeous. Look what I got. Oi. Look. Ooh. Whoa, you got the tongues. You got the tongues more than anything. You let go the tongues. Wow, there we go. Living in the trees, we do. We live in the trees. So we put some in there for her to hunt. But she's gonna she'll probably wait for him to climb up the bush to her. <laughs> There's the geckos fed. I've got to do chameleon drippers. So this one's still good, but it's just stopped. So we're gonna adjust adjust it. Perfect. There we go. I'm going to top this one up and then check the other ones and go from there. There we go. Dripper's full. Well, not full. We only put the same amount as what will fit in our water bowl. Otherwise, it's just going to overflow the water bowl. Uh, and it's dripping. There we go. Come on. I just had you dripping. Ah, there we go. Drip, drip, drip. Away we go. Hello. Hello, my lovely. I'm okay. It's okay. I'm okay. Any worry? There's no food. No food. Just, just having a stroke. That's all. I'm okay. Just having a little stroke. Cool. You've had a poo. Oh, that means I'm gonna have to do you clean you out tonight when I get back. That's gonna be fun to do after a couple of bevvies. Oh, but I don't have time to do it now, so we can't not do it. So it's a good job for tonight. My plan is to leave a lot of the UV lights on for when I come back tonight, I'll turn them all off because it's, it's not gonna be long enough time for them with the UVs. So I'm gonna leave some of the UVs on, the animals that don't need as much UV, like the leopard geckos and stuff like that. I'll make sure those are turned off. But uh, anyone else that needs the UV, um, we'll be leaving them on and I'll be coming back tonight and turning them off, doing the axolotls and stuff like that later on tonight. So, yeah, I think that's much of all we can do. It's not quite what we expected today and I was meant to do the filters and stuff like that, but I forgot I had to go to my, my cousin's party. So, um, sorry about that, because we've got a slightly shorter video today, but we're gonna be cracking on with feeding day tomorrow and all our normal jobs. So, uh, if you, look, if you want to watch a video, it should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to help support me in the YouTube channel, there's a link in the description below, or you can click join. And if you want to see where I get my animals from, there's a link in the description below. So I'll see you in the future. Bye. So I've just put the shout out on Facebook saying that I'm uh, closing the shop early. And I've just had like the biggest rush of about half hour to an hour going. So all the fish tanks have gone. I've just got those little ones there, but one of them's already reserved. So uh, all the 60s are gone. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get all the gravels gone, a load of the plants have gone. We were selling these like hot cakes. So uh, yeah, doing really, really well. I didn't think that was gonna make much of a difference. I thought no one would come, but I said I'm closing early and everyone was like, oh, we gotta get there quick. So big mad rush, so I'm happy about that. Thank you for everybody. So I'm gonna have to close up now because it's it's getting close. So I've got to go get ready and washed and changed and all that jazz for the, going out to my cousin's birthday. So I think that'll be it now. So uh, I'll say goodbye in a sec. There we go. I've made it home for my cousin's birthday party. A little bit merry, a little bit merry. But we're doing okay. So uh, I forgot to say goodbye when we was at the shop. So I did a little clip when we was out there. And I did a, I'm doing a little clip now. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Ring that lovely bell for me if you haven't already. 
And uh, if you want to support the channel, there's a link in the description below, or you can click the join button. That helped. You can join the tribe then. And uh, if you want to see where I get my animals from, there's a link in the description below. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.